Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a really long while and I thank you all for being so patient and I hope everyone had a fantastic Thanksgiving day. Today, I'll be talking about three different types of drop shot. So what is a drop shot about? Basically, a drop shot is a technique that you hit to the front of your opponent court to force your opponent to move forward. Basically, to make them move to the front of the court. So there are four variations, the regular drop shot, the hard drop shot and then there's also the slice drop shot as well as the you know lesser known coconut drop shot I call it Super coconut So let's begin First off let's talk about the hard drop shot So the hard drop shot typically lands at least a racket after the service line to as far as the middle of the court So when do people often use the hard drop shot? Typically, people use it defensively. When you're out of position and you want to keep the shuttle in, keep the rally going, you do a hard drop shot because it's a lot easier to keep the shuttle in. And typically, when you're out of position, people will try to stand a little bit more forward to pressure you, to kill you. So if you do a soft drop shot, it makes it a lot easier to capitalize and kill you compared to like a hard drop shot. So my advice is that when you're trying to play a hard drop shot, Hit it a little bit higher, like as high as one foot above the net. If you're unsure, play it safe, hit it further, hit it higher, you'll be fine. Trust me. Next off is the coconut drop shot. So the coconut drop shot's main objective is to force your opponent to take an extra step to the front. So typically it could be, it's usually anywhere before the service line and like the most most often it is used during casual games and it is very effective against opponents that can't move very well so by forcing them to move an extra step it really makes it very difficult for them so a simple use case is when you can you know attack very well and then you know when you try to pretend that you're about to smash and instead of smashing you do a coconut drop shot so your opponent gets rooted on the floor and not only do they get rooted on the floor to try to retrieve your drop shot they now have to take an extra step so it's super effective when you do that additionally when you play against players that are very very tired imagine during long rallies you want them to you know move an extra step you can do a coconut drop shot so usually it's very effective during casual games not against players that are very well trained very fast the coconut drop shot usually would backfire Finally, let's talk about the slice drop shot. So typically, the slice drop shot is used offensively, but sometimes people do use the slice drop shot defensively. And the reason why people use the slice drop shot mainly because it is deceptive, yeah. makes it tricky because the shuttle moves in a different direction compared to the swing of the racket. Meaning if you swing a racket to the right, the shuttle moves to the left. And plus, there's a slowing effect, so that's a bonus. So I've created an in-depth tutorial on how you can do the slice drop shot. So if you want to learn how to do the, this technique, click on the link on the top right-hand corner. So for this, I highly, highly recommend starting off practicing this technique offensively because the slice drop shot is a lot harder to hit because there is a much smaller surface area. So that means that it's a lot more prone to mistake. Plus, if you want to, if your objective is to deceive your opponent and you are in a defensive, difficult position, it's a lot, a lot harder to deceive your opponent. So definitely practice it, use it when you are in a comfortable position because it's easier to perform and you can score a point if you successfully deceive your opponent. So that's my tip for you. All right. <laughs> Six and a half hours later. All right, we've come to the end of the video. I hope you learned something new. As always, you need to practice a lot if you want to get them consistent and very, you know, sharp to the corner. So keep practicing. And wait a minute, did we actually cover how to do the drop shot properly? We haven't, did we? Yeah, we haven't. So if you want to watch how to do the drop shot, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.